Hi friends, let's make this pick with me. We have free beginner crochet pattern today. I'll be showing detailed video instructions to help you make this cutie step by step. I use 8 ply yarn and 4 mm hook, but you can choose any yarn and hook you like. These are the materials you will need. Light pink yarn, pink yarn, a little bit of brown or black yarn for embroidery, some fillings of your choice, yarn needle, crochet hook, scissor, stitch counter if you have one, and three stitch markers. Let's start by making the body. We begin by using the light pink yarn and create a magic ring. I recently created a magic ring tutorial. If you need help with creating a magic ring, be sure to check it out. Round 1 Create 6 single crochet in the magic ring. Tighten the magic ring here by pulling the end tail so we can identify our first stitch and close this ring with a slip stitch. Once that's done, now we want to chain one. Please note that I don't count chain as my first stitch. Round 2. Do two single crochet in each stitch six times. We will end up with 12 stitches at the end of the round. Now we are increasing to make the round shape. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. Honestly, this is really important and make things a lot easier. I will show you why in a bit once we reach the end of the round.
So now we have done our six increase. Remove the stitch marker and close it with a slip stitch. Now remember when I say that the stitch marker is really useful? When you take this off, just remember the first position of that um, first stitch that you have because this is where you want to insert your hook to do that slip stitch to close that ring. Now we want to chain one. Round three, two single crochet in one stitch, then one single crochet in the next stitch. We will repeat this pattern from beginning to end until the end of the round and we will end up with 18 stitches. We just completed the first two single crochet in one stitch. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. Continue now with one single crochet in the next stitch. We just reached the end of round 3 now. From here onwards, I turn my work before closing my magic ring with the slip stitch. Chain one. Round four, two single crochet in one stitch and then two single crochet in the next two stitches. Repeat this pattern from beginning to end until the end of the round. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. Okay, I will see you at the end of round 4. Feel free to pause the video until you finish round 4. Now we are at the end. Just like the last round, turn your work around and close it with a slip stitch.
then chain one. Round five, two single crochet in one stitch and then three single crochet in the next three stitches. Repeat this from beginning to end. You will have 30 stitches at the end of the round. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. Okay, I'll see you at the end of round 5. Feel free to pause the video right here until you finish round 5. Now we are at the end. Just like the last round, turn your work around and close it with a slip stitch. then chain one. Round six, two single crochet in one stitch and then four single crochet in the next four stitches. Repeat this pattern from beginning to end. You will end up with 36 stitches at the end of the round. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. Okay, I'll see you at the end of round 6. Feel free to pause the video right here. Now we are at the end. Just like the last round, turn your work around and close it with a slip stitch. then chain one. Round seven to round 20, we will be doing 36 single crochet, one on each stitch until the end of the round. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. Now we stop increasing and starting to work on the body length. Make sure to turn your work at the end of each round, close it with a slip stitch and then chain one as usual. Okay, I'll see you at the end of round 20. Feel free to pause the video right here. Now we are at the end of round 20. Turn the work around and let's close it with a slip stitch. Okay, I know that we still need to do chain one, but for now, let's just stop here for a moment. Take off your hook and use a stitch marker instead so we can secure this live stitch. I want to start making up the body. Let's grab our yarn needle. We want to fully close that magic ring hole in the beginning. So we want to weave through the top stitch only along these lines.
then when we are done we put the needle through the beginning hole now pull slightly and you can see the hole will close seamlessly grab the fiber fill and let's start stuffing this body let's keep going chain one now we want to start decreasing round 21 four single crochet in the next four stitches and then single crochet two together repeat this from beginning to end you will end up with 30 stitches grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round We just finished doing four single crochet. Now we are about to do single crochet two together. For single crochet two together, I pick the front of the next stitch only. So we have two stitch on the hook at the moment. And then again, I'm going to pick the next front stitch only. So currently we have three stitches on our hook finally yarn over pull through the first two stitches now you should end up with two stitches on your hook yarn over again and then pull through four single crochet in the next four stitches and then now single crochet two together so pick the front yarn only of the next stitch like so and then pick the next front yarn only as well so we have three stitches in the hook yarn over pull two stitches yarn over again and pull the remaining stitches so you end up with one stitch on the hook okay I will see you at the end of round 21 feel free to pause the video right here now we are at the end turn your work around and close it with a slip stitch chain one round 22 three single crochet in the next three stitches and then single crochet two together repeat from beginning to end and you will end up with 24 stitches grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round now we are about to do single crochet two together I will see you at the end of round 22 feel free to pause the video right here now we are at the end turn your work around and close it with a slip stitch chain one round 23 two single crochet in the next two stitches and then single crochet two together repeat this from beginning to end 
and then you will end up with 18 stitches I'll see you at the end of round 23 feel free to pause the video right here now we are at the end turn your work around and close it with a slip stitch chain one at this stage let's add more fiber fill round 24 one single crochet and then single crochet two together repeat this from beginning to end and you will end up with 12 stitches I'll see you at the end of round 24 feel free to pause the video right here now we are at the end turn your work around and close it with a slip stitch chain one round 25 single crochet two together and repeat this four times at this stage let's add more fiber fill I hope you're enjoying the video so far if you made it here leave me a pink emoji icon down below now we are at the end turn your work around and close it with a slip stitch cut the yarn Make sure to leave enough tail for seaming later on. Let's make up and close the body. Grab your yarn needle. Put your needle through the middle hole and find any exit point somewhere in the middle of the body. We want to seam a few times until the yarn is really short. At the end, you just need to use the back of your yarn needle to push through that remaining yarn. Yay, we actually finished the body! Let's move on to the ears next. Ears. We're going to make two of these. Start by using the light pink yarn. Tie a slip knot and then chain two. Row 1. In the first loop, 3 single crochet in 1 stitch. You will end up with 3 stitches. Chain 1 and turn your work. Row 2. 3 single crochet. Chain 1 and turn your work. Row 3. 1 single crochet and then 3 single crochet in 1 stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. 
then one last single crochet. You will end up with five stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Row four. Four single crochet in the next four stitches. And then three single crochet in the last stitch. You will have five stitch at the end. To finish off the ear, we want to do a single crochet along the other two edges of the ears so they will have a nice uniform stitches. To do this, we keep going around, do two single crochet in the next two stitches, then three single crochet in one stitch for the last corner stitch. And then we repeat two single crochet in the next two stitches. Then three single crochet in one stitch for the last corner stitch. Leave a thread long enough for sewing, cut and pull through. Now you just need to repeat the pattern to make the second ear. Next, let's make the nose. Nose, we are going to use the pink yarn. Begin by tying a slip knot, then chain six. Round one, four single crochet in the next four stitches. Then three single crochet in one stitch. We're going to be working in free loops of the beginning chain. This simply means that we are going to be working on the beginning chain stitch. So working in the free loops, do three single crochet. Then, two single crochet in the last stitch. We will end up with 12 stitches. In round two, chain one, then two single crochet in one stitch. four single crochet in the next four stitches two single crochet in one stitch again
and we are going to be repeating this pattern from beginning one more time. Two single crochet in one stitch, four single crochet in the next four stitches, two single crochet in one stitch again. Join with slip stitch to the first stitch. Leave a thread long enough for sewing, cut and pull through. Okay, I'm excited so I want to start assembling um, the pieces now. Let's grab our yarn needle. Weave through the stitches, alternating from the body to the nose. In hindsight, I would have used something like a stitch marker just to mark where I want the nose to be to make things a bit easier. Just continue weaving through, going around and securing the stitches. Okay, so now we have finished weaving in through the nose to finish off we just want to insert the needle and find any exit near the back of the body. We just have to cut off the excess yarn at the end later. Now let's attach the ears. Weave through the ears to the body. Okay, that's halfway done for the ear. Let's secure the other side now. It's important that you bring the two yarn together in the same hole so that when you tie a knot later at the end, you can actually push it through the same exact hole and that knot will disappear from view seamlessly. So do a double knot here. Insert the yarn through our needle again. And remember to put it through that exact same hole. And exit through somewhere at the back. I'm going to attach the other ear first now and then I'll show you at the end on how to hide all this excess yarn. Okay, so I'll see you um, when you finish attaching the other ear. Feel free to pause the video right here. So I have actually cut through the shorter yarn and just left the longer two so I can demonstrate this to you. So to do this, First, both yarn need to be at the exact same hole. So let me do that now. Let me pull this, let me put this other yarn to that exact same spot. Okay. Do a double knot. And use the yarn needle insert through the exact same hole again and exit at any point so this exit doesn't matter where but the insert have to be at the exact same hole use scissor to cut off the remaining yarn Use the yarn needle to fix any excess leftover yarn and push it back inside the body. And that's it for a seamless finish. 
let's go and make the tail now. For the tail, use slight pink yarn. Begin by tying a slip knot. Chain 14. From the second loop on the hook, we are going to slip stitch to the end. Please feel free to pause the video right here. So now we have reached the end. Leave a thread enough for sewing. Cut and then pull through. Let's quickly attach the tail before we move on to the arms and legs. I'm just going to weave through this tail with the same technique that we did for the nose and the ear. So I'm just going to fast forward this. Let's make the arms and legs now. We need to make four of these. Start by using the pink yarn. We want to create a magic ring. I linked the magic ring tutorial here in the top right hand corner in case you need to refer to it again. Round one. Four single crochet in the magic ring. Mark the last three stitches with stitch marker. So I have here my three colorful stitch markers. I want to show this section step by step as I found this to be the trickiest one. Start by marking the last stitch that we just did. Then moving backwards to mark the second last one. Finally, let's mark the third last one. We should now have one last stitch remaining. This is our first stitch and we will be joining this stitch with slip stitch to close this magic ring. Tighten the magic ring. Close with slip stitch. Round two. Two single crochet in each stitch. Do this three times. Now our stitch marker will come in handy. So take off the first one and this will be your first hole to do the first two stitches. I'm just marking my first stitch in the round with the stitch marker again.
close with slip stitch. Turn work around. Chain one. Round three. One single crochet and then two single crochet in one stitch. Repeat this pattern from beginning till the end. Two more times. We will end up with nine stitches. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the round. Feel free to pause the video right here. Close with slip stitch. Now we want to change to light pink yarn. Chain one using the light pink yarn. Round 4. Work on the back loop only for the next 9 stitches. So to do this, we're only going to pick the back loop of our stitch. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the round. Feel free to pause the video right here. Close with slip stitch. Turn the work, then chain one. Round 5. 9 single crochet in the next 9 stitches. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the round. Feel free to pause the video right here. Close with slip stitch. Turn the work, then chain one. Round six. Another nine single crochet in the next nine stitches. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the round. Feel free to pause the video right here. Close with slip stitch. Leave a thread enough for sewing. Cut and then pull through. Make three more of this and then I will see you at the next assembly part. Welcome to the assembly. I hope you're enjoying your time so far with me. Please like and share the video as that will really help my channel to grow. So for this assembly, we want to attach the front leg first. I'm thinking to do the front two legs slightly at an angle and the back two flat on the side. To make it easier, 
I'm going to use stitch marker to mark where I want the arm to be. I'm putting two stitch markers for now as I'm still deciding on the right spot. In the meantime, I'm going to start weaving in the ends first. Let's grab our yarn needle and put the needle through that middle hole. Then we can start tying knots together to secure all these stitches. We should have three um, yarn to tie. You can leave the last pink long yarn as we will use that one to seam to the pig's body but you can tie the rest Once um, I tie them in, I like to just stuff them back into the arms and legs so that you don't need to use any extra fillings for these. Okay, so first needle goes through the body and then I'm going to weave in just the inside stitches of the arm. and just keep alternating to the body and then the arm until the end okay i'm going to fast forward now i will see you at the back leg assembly I'm going to sew this um, back leg sideways um, so they will actually lay flat on the side of the body. I'm just going to do a few stitches here. Um, so the aim is that we want to make sure the leg is going to lay flat on the side of the body. I've done the um, long version of the making up process earlier in this video when I was doing the nose and the ears so if you need um, help again you can click on that um, chapter for this section I'm just going to fast forward a little bit Next part is the embroidery. We're getting so close now. Um, of course, if you prefer to use safety eyes, you can do so. But I just want this pig to be sleeping, you know, like taking a nap. So I'm going to embroidery the eyes, nose, and some pink cheeks. So as usual, I'm just using my stitch markers here to find the position for the eyes oh I don't know I think this actually looks kind of cute but anyway moving on once I'm happy with the eyes position I'm grabbing my dark brown yarn from here on until we finish the embroidery I won't be talking but I'll be showing you each step by step of where I put my stitch so you can follow along with me
Okay, so at the end, I actually decided to add some eyelashes. Um, we are doing the eyelash now and I'm sorry to say that I just looked at my footage and a lot of the um, filming has been cut off and I will show you all the parts that I have and hopefully it will still help you in finding the location of these eyelashes. I just want to um, keep it real with you and do a quick review of my experience crocheting this adorable pig. I just hope that um, this can help anyone out there, you know, beginners alike. And yes, I'm one of them too, of course. I am a firm believer that we all need to start from somewhere. Okay, so first, um, the body. I just found out that this pig is actually inside out. Okay, so I actually spent some time to inspect both sides before deciding which sides I like better. Um, and I actually end up choosing this one, but turns out this is actually the wrong side. Um, pretty, actually pretty funny, but that's okay. I still like him. But in the future, of course, I will try and do the other side instead. So let me zoom in and show you how to tell the correct side from the wrong one. Um, so apparently the wrong side has this straight bars running across while the right side uh, will only have all the V shapes. As I mentioned, I use eight ply yarn and four millimeter crochet hook as I actually didn't have any smaller needles when I first started making the body. I have recently purchased some clever needles. Uh, yes, you know, I have splurge. And so in the future projects, I'll be using smaller needles than the recommended yarn size to make the stitches even tighter. So hopefully there will be no holes whatsoever. If you want more free knitting patterns and detailed video tutorials, I will be linking you my snowman mobile phone covers and panda hat at the end of this video. So go and check them out.